One of my favorite classes to teach is our CP Suspend, which is a TRX-based class. I'm gonna walk through just some things I love to do in a flow. We're gonna start with our TRX fully shortened. So I'm gonna pull the carabiner out to the side, pull the tab up to the top, lock. Do the same on the other side. Remember, we have the equalizing loop, so it'll never let you fly all the way to the side. It will catch you, but our goal is to keep this as equal as possible. We're gonna start with a little bit of footwork just like we would on the reformer. So, we're gonna take a step back. I'm gonna take my feet parallel hip width distance, so in, the, in lines with my hip bones, elbows into my side, draw my shoulders down and back and find my neutral spine. So I am not, I don't have a big arch in my back and I'm not fully imprinted. So we're just gonna find that neutral. Elbows right by your rib cage to start and then you're gonna inhale, send it down. Exhale, drive down through the entire foot to lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Some things to think about. Very light grip on the TRX as if you could just have one or two fingers so we're not death gripping. We're making sure the shoulders aren't coming up into our ears, right? We're relaxing everything down and back. And then watch the flare of that rib cage, right? Close it in. Big inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Driving through the heels, just as if we were on the reformer, just trying to find our breath. Let's go three. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, push the hips forward. Two. On this last one, let's meet it halfway down, chest is high, and we're gonna do a little pulse. Pulse, pulse. I'm driving through my heels, very little weight in my hands. I'm looking at maybe the wall in front of me a little bit, a little bit higher for a four. Three, two. One, stand up tall. We're gonna change up our foot positioning. So we're gonna go into our wide lateral. Think your heels at the edge of the foot bar. Shoulders roll down and back. Now when we're lateral, the ribs really wanna pop. So pull that rib cage in and we're just gonna inhale down. Exhale, lift, squeeze through the inner thighs. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You're driving through the entire foot but with an emphasis through the heels. Very light grip on the TRX, maybe just one or two fingers holding on. We don't want to stress out the forearms, the wrists, or the shoulders at this point. Nice job. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Let's go two. Last one. We'll hold it down and we'll do a little pulse. 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 And then we'll stand up tall. We'll lower down and we'll pulse. 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 Stand up tall. Get that squeeze. Inhale, lower and pulse for four, three, two. One, stand up tall. We're gonna add on here. We're gonna do some articulation for those ankles. You'll inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift the right heel, set it down. Lift the left heel, set it down. So you can keep those hips square so we don't lift our hip with our heel. We're keeping them nice and level, nice and even. You might get a little shaking through those calves. Totally fine, let's go. Three, two, one. Stand up tall, right back down. Lift the right impulse. Nice job, keep that breath nice and steady. Three, two, one, right heel down, stand up tall, lower it right back down, left heel up and pulse. I'm pulsing through my right heel, the left ball of my foot for four. Three, two, one, get yourself a little bit of a stretch. Sending the arms forward, the hips back, roll it back up. We're going right back down, we're lifting both and pulse. Lifting both heels and pulse. Let's go six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Cool. We're going to go into our Pilates V, which is, simply means heels together, toes apart, a little pizza, a slice of pizza in between your feet. Extra balance challenge is to elevate the heels slightly. Keep the heels squeezing together. We'll inhale to lower down. Exhale to lift and zip. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift and zip. Now you get to use a little bit of that uh, arm straightening here to keep that spine in that neutral spine as you lower and lift. But really think about the backs of the inner thighs wrapping together as you come up. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. We've got four. Inhale, exhale, three, two. Final one, we're gonna hold it down and pulse, really squeeze through those heels. Head is up, rib cage is closed for five, four, three, two, and one, stand up tall, take yourself to parallel, send the arms forward, the hips back. You can do a little sway of the arms and the tail, bend through the knees and bring it back up. Got a little bit more, we're gonna do our prancing here. So I'm gonna go back to my feet, hip width parallel here. I'm gonna lift through my heels, lower through the heels. Find that nice articulation, a little bit of a roll. 
We're gonna inhale, lower down. We're gonna exhale, lift, lift, lower, lower. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Then start with the left. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Let's go two, one. Now we're gonna walk it. So I'm gonna walk it up and then walk it down. So I'm just doing a little bit of a run series, lifting and lowering through those heels, trying to keep my hips stable for four, three, two, and one. Hold it down, both heels up and lift, and lift for four, three, two, last one all the way tall, heels go down and dive it forward. And we can take a little stretch out to the side and then open up to the other side and stretch. Bend through the knees, scoop through the belly button, roll it on up. We're gonna keep our straps at our fully shortened length here. We're gonna move into a little bit of a pulling series. So my feet are gonna to come together, my shoulders draw down and back, and I'm just gonna lean back. I'm gonna walk forward slightly, and then from here, I'm just gonna release my arms straight, scoop through the ribcage and pull back. Inhale, and then exhale to pull. So I'm doing a low row as if we we're doing a low row with our reformer ropes, right? If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you walk forward, you're pulling more of your body weight. If you're starting to get tired, you just walk your feet back and keep that motion going. We're going for about 15 here. Let's go three, two, one, stand up tall. Sorry, release your arms, then stand up tall. We're going to combine two of those movements together. So we're going to stay in our hip width for this one. I'm going to go hip width. Arms are gonna stay in that low row. I'm gonna release my arms straight. I'm gonna walk forward slightly. I want a little bit more of a challenge today. I'm gonna to lower down into a squat, send my hips back so I'm into my plank position and row. Inhale, lower, squat. Exhale, press back and row. See if you can make this dynamic, press and row. Inhale, lower, exhale, press back and row. Nice job, this is gonna get the heart rate up. This is total body. Think about those Pilates principles, shoulders sliding down and back. Neck in line with your spine, rib cage closed. Let's go three. Inhale, lower, exhale, press and lift for two. And one, release the arms, walk it back. Let's work on some posture work now for those shoulders. So we're gonna start with our I, Y's, and T's. I'm gonna release my arms straight, point my palms down, drop the shoulders, tuck the pelvis, neutral spine. We're gonna take an inhale, then on our X, we're gonna come straight up like I'm making the letter I. Arms straight, come down. We're gonna go out like a cheerleader, like we're doing a Y. And then arms straight as you come down. Turn the palms to face one another and make a T. Really squeeze through the back of the shoulders and release. As always, to make this a little bit more challenging, feet walk forward, but try to not let the hips arch or the booty drop. We'll go out for our Y and T. To make this a little bit nicer, you just take a step back. The more you are closer to standing up still, the nicer this is gonna be on the shoulders. The higher and the wider our hands go, the more we wanna drop through those shoulder blades. Nice job. Let's do one more time all the way through. I, Y, and T. And then we'll get that nice little stretch forward. Scoop through the pelvis and roll on up. We're gonna go back to some leg work. So we're gonna do a little bit of a single leg deadlift here. I'm gonna send my arms in front of me and I wanna push heavy on the hard handle to activate through my lats. So I'm pressing down heavy through both, shoulders draw down and back and I'm gonna take my right foot in line with my numbers here, but for you at home, just your anchor point wherever the TRX is anchored. From here, I'm gonna send my left toes back and I'm gonna to touch them to the ground and then straighten out my hips, right? From here, I'm gonna send my hips back and my arms forward. I'm gonna reach, try and get my leg and arms parallel to the ground. And then I'm gonna exhale, bypass the ground, lift that knee up. Inhale, send it back and reach. Exhale, draw everything back and up. The higher you get that left knee, the more work you're placing on that right medial glute thing, side booty, pull the belly button in, lower abs are working to help here. Now, as we're moving through this, I want you to really think about not letting the hip open. We're trying to keep it shining to the ground and then drawing back up. If you're getting a little sawing motion, you wanna really make sure you can make that balance nice and even. Maybe pressing a little more through the left hand as that left leg is moving through space. Let's do two more. Two. Last one, we're gonna send it back. We're gonna hold. Now from here, I'm gonna pulse up, 
up, up. It's just a little pulse. I'm just squeezing from the glutes. You can add the arms in here if you'd like. As you pulse up, the arms go out. In, out, in. Pulse the leg up, arms go out for six, five, four, three, two, one. And then bend and come on up. Don't give yourself a break just yet. We're sending it back out one last time. Reach, draw the shoulders down and back. You're gonna open the hip and then send it back to the ground. Shine the hip open, send it back to the ground. Try and prevent that sawing, so I need to press a little bit harder through my left for three, two, and one. Bring it forward, set it down. Let's hit that other side real quick. Shoulders roll down and back. Take that left foot in line with your anchor point. Right toes come back just to find that nice little standing static on your left. You're going to inhale, send the arms forward, send the leg back. Exhale, bypass that ground and lift that knee up. Now, if you need a little bit of a stutter step, you're welcome to find your balance, then lift the knee up. Inhale to send it back. Exhale to drive it forward and up. Remember, the higher you get that right knee here, the more engagement you're going to get from that left medial glute. I'm pressing evenly through both hands, but I'm really trying to press down, so I'm activating through my lats, through my obliques, letting all of that work to help me. And most importantly, my left leg has a little micro bend, just making sure I'm not hyperextending through my kneecap. Let's go to last one. We're gonna hang it out there. Now I'm just gonna lift. I'm just squeezing that right glute. If I wanna add on, as the leg goes up, the arms go out. Leg goes up, arms go out. For six, five, belly button pulls up. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. And then we're gonna go right back out. We're gonna send it out. I'm gonna open my hip and close. Think about the hips shining to the back wall and then the ground. Back wall and then the ground. Try and keep those ropes nice and even for four, three, shoulders out of the ears, two, and one. Bring it up, bring it in, and down. All right, so we're gonna make our ropes just a tiny bit shorter, which I call bunny ears, right? You're just gonna pull up, make it into bunny ears. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit extra balance by holding on to the hard loops. A little bit more unstable would be the soft loops. And from here, we're just gonna do our side standing star series. Shoulders down and back. If you have a mirror, see if you can make sure your shoulders are stacked over your hips. All we're gonna do is we're gonna send our right arm in towards the wall, left leg lifts, and then squeeze everything back and up. A little bit more challenging is further away from the anchor point, and squeeze. Just lift, keeping those hips nice and stable so we don't want to let the hip roll forward or round back you will lose your balance there shoulders stay down and back let's go four three two last one we're gonna hold it up can we pulse pulse pull the belly button back you're just squeezing that heel up 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 can we hold to a little circle little tiny heel circle for three two one, reverse the circle for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, set the foot back down. Now I'm gonna go into my shorter or my squishy loops. Hands are gonna come up overhead. I'm gonna frame my head. So I wanna keep my ears in between my biceps at all times. Feet are gonna come close together and then drop through the shoulders. We're gonna inhale, send the hip down. Exhale, lift up. So I'm pushing my left hip towards the center aisle and pulling back with those right obliques. Inhale, send it in. Exhale, lift it up. Try to keep the shoulders down and back. Keep everything in that nice, perfect form. Getting some lateral flexion here. If you'd like to, you can add the foot. Bring it down. Lift the inside leg as you did and in. Let's go two and one. Bring it up. Now, one of my favorite series is a single arm tricep. So I'm gonna put those squishy loops in my right hand. I'm gonna draw my shoulders down and back and I'm gonna tuck my pelvis. Right hand goes right underneath the elbow for a little bit of support to start. Feet come together slightly and then lift through the heels. We're just gonna bend and press. So my fist is getting right to my forehead and then I'm pressing up and away, right? And if you wanna make this a little bit nicer, you walk forward and you can keep that hand here for support. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, walk back. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. Let's go four, three, two, 
Final one, and press. Now we're gonna go back to our hard handles. We're gonna take a big step back and we're gonna go out to our superwoman, our flying position. Shoulders draw down and back, tuck through the pelvis. We're gonna inhale, fly away, and then exhale, drive it back down. Inhale, fly away, exhale, drive it back down. Shoulders are gliding down your back as you inhale, send it away, and then exhale, bring it back down. I want you to think you're using your lats and your obliques just to hold you up and to pull you back in. Let's go for three, two, last one. We're gonna hold it out there for a breath. You're gonna send it out. You're gonna inhale, inhale, exhale. Perfect, we're going back to the soft loop. Left hand now. We're gonna take our right hand underneath our elbow. Feet come a little bit closer together, shoulders down and back. We're just gonna inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend. You really don't need too much angle here. I promise you will feel this the next day. This was literally my favorite tricep workout ever. You will feel every kind of inch of this, right? A little bit challenging, bring it, your feet together. Makes it a little bit tougher to balance. So without adding strength, you can add balance. Let's go two and one. Then we'll finish off on the other side with our obliques. Right, so that head gets framed, shoulders go down and back. We're gonna inhale to the center and exhale back to the anchor point. Inhale into the center, exhale back to the anchor point. Try and keep the head in line with your spine the entire time. We don't wanna look down at the ground. And we can take that inside leg up and down, up and down for four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to our stable, harder loops. We're gonna go back for our side star series. Shoulders down and back. A little tuck of the pelvis into that neutral spine. We're gonna lift that outer leg and I'm just gonna to dip towards center. Leg comes up and back down. Dip towards center, leg comes up and back down. Try to keep those hips stacked. Try to get that foot just up in line with the hip. Don't let this arm bend. Make sure you're pressing into it, getting nice work through those lats, think through the armpit muscles. Let's go to last one. We're gonna hold and we're gonna just do little pulses up. Like you're trying to kick a ball, a little hacky sack. You're just trying to keep it up and kick for four, three, two, hold it. Little circles. Think about squeezing from that medial glute for two, one. Reverse out that circle for five, four, three, two, and one, bring it down and breathe. Perfect, so now we're gonna take our straps and we're gonna pull both sides out to the side and I'm just gonna pull down until this hard handle is in line with my kneecap. It doesn't have to be a perfect science, but that's a good place to start. We're gonna do a little bit more front facing and then we're gonna come grounded. So we're gonna walk forward. And we're gonna work on our push-ups and our shoulder circles, just as if we were doing them on the reformer. So I'm gonna walk back to a comfortable position, draw my shoulders down and back, tuck the pelvis so I'm finding my neutral spine. From here, I'm gonna bend at the elbows just until my elbows are in line with my back, and then exhale, press. Inhale, lower, exhale, press. This is a chest press, this is a push-up, right? Things to consider, don't let the head look down and don't arch the head up to look at any mirror that you may have, right? Feet coming together makes it a little bit more challenging on that balance, a little bit more core work. The further you move back, the more of your body weight you're pressing up, a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna stay back here for my final five, four, three, two, last one. And then I'm gonna push it forward. I'm gonna step up slightly. Now I'm gonna work on my arm circles. So imagine you're laying down on the reformer. You have your arms and straps and we're doing our arm circles. We can do the same here. Shoulders draw down and back and they lock in place. That's the most important. A Little bit of a tuck of the pelvis. I'm gonna let my arms go up. I'm gonna swing out to the side, down and back. Inhale, exhale. We're getting a nice little mobility work through our shoulders, keeping them nice and lubricated, right? We don't want those joints to tighten up on us. Let's go just about six in one direction. Again, the further back your feet are, the more weight you'll be holding up and then we'll reverse, we'll hang out, and then exhale, pull down with those obliques, 
out and around. Exhale, pull down. Think the lats in the chest are holding you out here. And then it's triceps and obliques bringing you back in. Just reversing out that circle for four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. And then we're going to take a nice little chest stretch. So you're just going to walk forward and just see if you can keep your hands below your chest. Lift up through the chest. Pull the abs in and just reach much like a door stretch. Anything that you'd be doing at home with the door. And you can bring the hands down and lift up through the chest. Getting a nice chest stretch and rotator cuff stretch. We're going to take it grounded now. So we made these handles in line with our kneecaps so that we can do a little bit of our plank series. I'm going to show you the easiest way I think to get into them, which is to have a seat. You're going to put your feet into the bottom squishy loops, right? And then you're going to cross right foot over left. And then you're just going to flip over until you are kneeling. Knees and hands, right? So options are to go to a forearm plank. I'm going to stay up on a high plank push-up position. Just gives you a little bit more leverage. Draw the shoulders down and back and then open up to the shoulders. Really push the hands away from the mat. You'll extend your right leg back and then your left leg back. And we'll find our nice plank. Maybe this is your first time planking in TRX and this is challenging enough. You just stay here. Anytime you need to, you can bring the knees down and you can also come down to your elbows. But let's stay up in our high plank if possible. We're just gonna work through a few different variations here. So we're gonna inhale and then exhale, press back into our plank. Inhale, drive the right knee forward, exhale, send it back. Left knee forward and back, forward and back. So we're doing a mountain climber. You can do it slow and controlled or you can move into a nice quick mountain climber. Zero impact, right? Because we're not banging on the ground. For four, three, two, one. Knees come down gently. You can always stretch back into a childlike pose. Stretching out through those shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna work on Spider-Man crunches, right? So I want my right knee to come to the outside of my right shoulder. So I'm gonna shoulders down and back. I'm gonna exhale, lift up. I'm gonna come up and out, back. Up and out, back. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, bring it down. All right, we're gonna do one more variation today. There's lots of things you can do in this plank leg motion, but we're gonna do a little bit of a, uh, of a double spider crunch, right? So I'm gonna bring both of my knees to the outsides of my elbows. I'm gonna bring my hips up a little bit higher. I'm gonna exhale, reach, and send it back. Exhale, lift up and reach, send it back. Let's go five, four. Really lift the hips, scoop like you're doing a pike. Three, two, and one, bring it in, bring it down. And you can shake those feet out. We're gonna do a little bit of grounded work. We have yet to do our bridging series. So we're gonna do that here. I'm gonna come a little bit further from the anchor point since I have the T-Rex a little low. And I'm just gonna work my feet and straps, right? So let's start with our heels together, toes apart, Pilates V. So I'm trying to simulate a frog kick on the reformer. I'm gonna draw my shoulders down and back. I'm gonna tuck the pelvis and I'm gonna lift. From here, I'm gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, zip the thighs, exhale, bring it back in. Relax the face, the neck and the shoulders. We're just trying to zip together and then pull back. Zip together, let's move into our beats. One, two, three, pull it back. Send it out, squeeze through the glutes, beats. One, two, three, send it back. Let's go two more here, one, two, Three, bring it back. Two, one, two, three. I can't count, did I say two or three? Last one, one, two, three. Bring it back in and then roll it on down. Breathe, we'll go to our parallel. Imagine like you're just doing a bend and extend on the reformer. We're trying to keep our feet pressing evenly so we don't get one pushing a little bit harder than the other. This time I'm gonna imprint my spine. I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna try and press evenly through both. Drag them back in. Press evenly through both, drag them back in. Trying to keep the hips at the same height the entire time. Let's go, four, three. Belly button pulled in tight, two, and one. Bring it in, bring it down. Then we're gonna take those hands into our handles. I wanna check behind me to make sure I have enough space. Now this is only if there's no injuries to the spine. If you feel comfortable, with an inverted position, but we're gonna take our hands in the smaller or the softer loops. 
I'm gonna bring my legs to tabletop. And from here, I'm just gonna work on a little tuck. So I'm gonna set my legs straight, draw the knees in, scoop and lift. Set it back down, think like a reverse crunch, right? You're just tucking the tailbone, lifting, and then sending it forward. If you wanna add on just a little bit, I'm gonna bring my knees in, I'm gonna send my legs up straight, trying to find that nice stretch through the hamstring first. I'm gonna lift up and over, maybe reaching for the mat, trying to engage through those legs, and then slowly bring it down, send it out, in, up, and up. Just reaching for a nice little roll over, trying to keep those legs close to the body as you roll down, and I'm pushing heavy into these handles to give me a little bit of support as I press back and up reaching for that ground, or maybe just trying to get the legs parallel to the ground. Let's go two. Big exhale to come up and over. And then on this last one, we're gonna meet up into teaser. So we're gonna send it back. And then I'm gonna dock my tailbone. I'm gonna lift up and find my teaser-like position. I'm just gonna try and hold here, and we're just gonna open the arms and close. Open the arms and close. Really scoop the belly button. Try and get those legs nice and straight for four, three, two, and one. Bend through the knees, tuck the tailbone, slowly roll it all the way down. Give yourself a little spine twist here. Nice job. Then we have just a little bit left of swimming. So we're gonna get our back extension in. I'm gonna bring them all the way long. I'm gonna lay down flat. Hands go on the squishy part on the bottom. We're just gonna do a little shoulder roll back and lift up, finding that nice swan position, and then sending forward. The most important things are keeping the head in line with the spine, drawing the shoulders down and back, and then applying just a little bit of pressure in the lats to help lift up and slowly release. Hip bones pressing down, pubic bone pressing down, scoop through the belly button and lift and then reach. Big exhale, lift, and let's just go ahead and flutter kick those feet. Get those lower abs activated. Get the glutes firing for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release. Send yourself back into your cat-cow position. We're gonna just do a little cat-cow, stretching out through the spine. And then on the final one, tip the heels back. Send yourself back up into your downward facing dog. Carefully walk your hands to your feet, your feet to your hands. I'll just turn this way. Take a deep bend to the knees and then bring everything back and up. And then you are all done with your T-Rex flow. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. It can be annoying to adjust these at first, but I promise you, once you get it down, you'll be on easy street.